Prabhu travelled from his house a distance of 20 kilometers to his friend's house. After some time, he left his friend's house and took a turn towards right and travelled 15 kilometers to reach a park. After resting for a while, he again started and turned to right and travelled 18 kilometers to reach a petrol bunk. From there, he again turned right and covered a distance of 15 kilometers. Right? How many kilometers more he has to travel to reach home? So basically a question on directions where we need to just trace the path given and find out the required answer. So he's talking about a guy Prabhu who traveled from his house a distance of 20 kilometers to his friend's house. So Prabhu's house is 20 kilometers away from his friend's house. So he traveled to his friend's house. Now after some time he left his friend's house and took a turn towards the right and traveled 15 kilometers to reach a park. So from his friend's house he goes to a park. After resting for a while in that park, he started again and turned to right and traveled 18 kilometers to reach a petrol bunk. Right? And then from there again, he turned right and covered a distance of 15 kilometers. How many kilometers more he has to travel to reach his home? Now, if you look at all the directions given here, the only thing that is missing is in which direction did he move from his house? The distance that he has covered 20 kilometers, right? In which direction was this distance of 20 kilometers covered to reach his friend's house? You're able to follow to reach his friend's house. So let's try it out. Let's assume that this is Prabhu's house. This is Prabhu's house. Prabhu traveled 20 kilometers. So let's assume he traveled 20 kilometers straight. 20 kilometers straight to reach his friend's house. This is friend's house. Right? This is friend's house. Now, after some time, he left his friend's house. So he's now left his friend's house. Right? He has left his friend's house. Remember, he's in this direction, right? Prabhu traveled in this direction. He traveled towards the east to reach his friend's house. Now, after some time, he left his friend's house and took a turn towards the right. So he left his friends out and took a turn towards right. Now when you're moving in the east direction, when you're moving in the east direction, a turn towards your right would mean you have turned south. You just put yourself in that path. You'll realize, right? You are turned towards south. A right turn from here would mean a turn in the south. So he turns this direction. And traveled what? He took a right turn, traveled 15 kilometers to reach a park. So from here he will travel 15 kilometers. 15 kilometers to reach a park. This is the park, let's say. This is a park. He's in the direction here like this. Right? After resting here for a while, he again started and turned to right. After resting here. So he spent some time here and now he starts again. And now he starts again, turned to right and traveled 18 kilometers to reach a petrol bunk. Sorry. After resting here for a while, he started again and turned to the right and traveled 18 kilometers to reach a petrol bunk. Right? So he turned to his right. Where is the pointer? Yeah, he's now turned to his right and traveled 18 kilometers to reach a petrol bunk. So he will turn to a right. Now, when a person is in this direction, sorry, turning to the right would mean turning towards the west side. So he turned to the right, traveled 18 kilometers. He's traveled 18 kilometers to reach a petrol bunk. Let's say this is the point, right? 18 kilometers. And from here again, he turned right. Again, he has turned right. He was moving towards what direction? He was moving towards the west direction. He turned right means he is now traveling uh, north and covered a distance of 15 kilometers. So he starts moving in the north direction and covers a distance of 15 kilometers. 15 kilometers. So after covering distance of 15 kilometers, he reaches this point. Right? He has reached this point. Now the question is, sorry, I think there's some problem with my pointer here. Yeah. Now the question is how many kilometers more he has to travel to reach his home? How many kilometers more he has to travel to reach his home? So from this point, if you observe, see these two are parallel lines, 15 and 15. These two are parallel lines, right? And out of these 20, see this total was 20. From Prabhu's house to his friend's house, the total was 20. But if you look at the paths that we have got here, right, what happens? This is 18. This is going to be 18, right? These are parallel, right? So if this P2, PB is 18, F2, this point also will be 18. Okay. And how many more kilometers? So if the person is at this point, if the person is at this point, now how many more kilometers should he travel? He's, his home is here. So if this is 18, he has to travel 2 more kilometers because 18 plus 2 will make it 20, right? Total has to be 20. So this is 18. He has to travel 2 more kilometers to reach his house. Right? He has to travel 2 more kilometers to reach his house. This is assuming that Prabhu has traveled 20 kilometers straight in the east direction. Prabhu has traveled 20 kilometers straight in the east direction. Let's take one more case. Because the, the question here is, 
we have no clue about his initial direction right we know he has traveled 20 kilometers initially to reach his friend's house but in which direction did he move prabhu traveled from his house a distance of 20 kilometers to his friend's house in which direction is the question i mean it's not the question but we got to know that without that we will not be able to solve it right in which direction so we have got two kilometers as the answer here let's let's say let's let's try west see what happens let's assume prabhu has traveled west so basically this is prabhu's house now it will be a little I mean, we'll move a little faster. Prabhu's house, he's traveled 20 kilometers to reach his friend's house. West. 20 kilometers to reach his friend's house. From the friend's house, he took a uh, right turn. Now, see, he's moving towards... I think I should draw it a little at the bottom there. Because this time, right turn would mean going towards north. Right? So, this is Prabhu's house. His friend's house here. Right? He has traveled 20 kilometers to reach his friend's house. Right? Travel 20 kilometers to reach his friend's house. Now he takes a right turn. Now right turn here at this point when you are going towards the west would mean moving towards the north. So after some time he took a right turn and traveled 15 kilometers. So he has traveled 15 kilometers after this. He reached the park. Right? Okay, by the way, this P and this is different, right? This is this is park PK. Don't get confused. This is park. Now from the park he turned right again and traveled 18 kilometers. So he turned right, which means our right because the person is moving towards north he traveled 18 kilometers and reached the petrol bunk right reached the petrol bunk and from here he took a right turn again now see if the person was moving towards east when you're moving towards east a right turn would mean towards south if you have turned south and covered a distance of 15 kilometers you call a distance of 15 kilometers so you reach this point now from here how far is his house again the same argument the total is 20 from this point to this point right out of this if this is 18 then this should be 2 so, 2 kilometers again is the answer, if, even if you consider west. Similarly, I mean, I mean the point is, like some of your uh, friends here have pointed out, answer is going to be 2 kilometers irrespective of which direction you take. So, if you are confident about that, just take 2 kilometers answer or otherwise check. Ideally, you should have checked north or south after checking east or west. Because if it is satisfied for east, obviously it will satisfy for west. What you need to check is north or south. So let's try that also quickly. We'll only take north and see if it satisfies or not. So take north. So which means Prabhu has traveled north initially to reach his friend's house. Right? So this is Prabhu's house. He traveled. Uh, that doesn't look like a straight line. Sorry. This is Prabhu's house. He's traveled 20 kilometers to reach his friend's house. Now from so he is traveling north. Now from here he takes a right turn and travels 15 kilometers. So when you are moving north, right turn is towards your right, right? So 15 kilometers, he reaches the park, right? From here again he takes a right turn, travels 18 kilometers, 18 kilometers to reach the petrol bunk. And from here he takes a right turn and travels 15 kilometers to reach this point. Yeah. Sorry. To reach this point. So, how far is his house now? We have got to measure this distance. Right? Same argument again. See, total is 20. Up to this point. This is 18. So, this extra has to be 2. So, I think it is always going to be 2 kilometers. Option 1. So, irrespective of which initial direction he follows, answer is always going to be 20 kilometers. Because the point is, see, he is taking only right turns always. See, he takes a right turn. Let me highlight what is happening here. If you observe, he is just moving in a circular direction. Right, he turned towards right. Then next turn is also turning towards right. And then again he turned right. So that is not going to affect your answer. Irrespective of your initial direction, direction, your final answer would always remain the same. 2 kilometers, right? So you can see this 2 kilometers here, this 2 kilometers here, and this 2 kilometers here. Right? So option 1 is the answer. But I I don't know, for some reason, I was confused when I was trying it, right, along with you guys. And let me leave you all with that confusion, right? I will not clear that, but let me just leave it. I've got this thought, and I think we need to work on this. Because strictly speaking, I thought answer cannot be 2 kilometers. Answer will be different for different directions. And forget about 2 kilometers. I will not even getting 2 kilometers for any case. I'll tell you why. I'll redo the east part again, right? Let me just do the east part again. Let me take a different color to explain. All of you pay attention to this. I'm sure this will be, like, surprising. We are doing east again. Right? 
now this is really at least to me this is like a little surprise but let, let's just check this out so the question says prabhu traveled from his house a distance of 20 kilometers to his friend's house so let's say this is prabhu's initial point he traveled a distance of 20 kilometers to his friend's house this is the friend's house distance is 20 kilometers right he's traveled east now understand after some time he left his friend's house and took a turn towards right after some time, he's left his friend's house and took a turn towards right. So what did he do? He's at his friend's house like this. Initially, we said he's at this point, at his friend's house. Right? He took a right turn. So we moved in towards the south direction because from this point, if you took a right turn, if you take a right turn, you will come towards south. But the confusion that I was left with is that, boss, this person has entered his friend's house. This is his friend's house, right? Try and understand the point here. I mean, logically, this actually makes sense. I'll have to figure out how do we deal with such weird thoughts that we get during the exam. He has entered his friend's house like this. This is the entrance. Right? He has entered his friend's house. You getting it? He has entered here. After some time, what did we do in the initial case? He has entered his friend's house here. Right? And we are saying that he came out from the back door and took a right turn. Which is fine. But ideally what happens? When you leave your friend's house, you, you try and understand what I am trying to say here. Right? Look at this part. When you leave your friend's house, you entered like this. But when you leave your friend's house, you will come out of the same door, right? So you have come out like this. I mean, I am some some reason I am confused with this. You have come out like this. Maybe because of the way the question was framed. So I said, okay, boss, he has turned back. He will go out like this, out, out of the door. He will come out of the door. And now he takes a right turn. After some time, he left his friend's house. He has left his friend's house means he has come out of this door. And now he took a turn towards right. So when you're moving towards, when you're moving towards west, a turn towards your right would mean north. So now he's going uh, the same thing, 15 kilometers to the park. He will travel 15 kilometers to a park. Again, from there, he takes a right turn. So this time he's turning like this. He travels 18 kilometers to the petrol bunk. This is PK, this is PB. And then he travels 15 kilometers back to the this point right he'll come back here which is what some point now how far is his home how far is his home now this was 20 kilometers and this is 18 kilometers total 38 kilometers right you're able to follow this is this is his stopping point now how far is his home he has to cover this 20 kilometers plus this is how much 18 kilometers right this 18 and this 20 has to be covered it comes out to be 38 but of course that's not there in the options and two seems like, yeah, the most appropriate one. But we all have to think about this. That in all these cases, if you observe, we have said he has entered his friend's house and he will, you know, break open the wall, opposite wall and come out and then take a right turn. In every case, we have done that. But strictly when you come out of your friend's house, you are coming out of the same door. And then if you take a right turn, it will be opposite to what you have done initially. Right? I hope you followed this point. Anyway, I think most likely the answer is two kilometers. This is a typical and a weird thought that I got and I thought I should leave you all with that so that you start thinking about it.